Today, I am starting a series of videos on the camera system that I created for my car. By the way, in case you were wondering why I stopped providing updates on my life in Silicon Valley, it is because those videos are now on a separate channel. I decided to focus this channel on my experience living in a car. I added another channel called Silicon Valley Homeless CEO for videos about my work life. Those videos are available through a link in the description section. Now, back to the camera system. The cameras were initially designed to allow me to see outside even when my privacy system was installed. I covered the privacy system in my last three how-to videos, and there is a link in the description to a playlist with those videos. When I created the privacy system for my car, it did a great job of hiding me. That meant that I could work in my car during the day or night and sleep in my car without anyone seeing me. However, it also meant that I couldn't see outside. That is why I created the camera system. Now, there are a lot of different camera systems that you can buy for your car, especially if you have an inverter to provide power outlets like I have shown in previous videos. A search for wireless camera systems on Amazon provides a lot of pre-built options. I chose to custom build my system because I like to invent and build things. I also wanted a system that I could integrate directly into my blackout panels. My design starts with micro cameras. Micro cameras are tiny cameras that are used in flying drones. I learned about them when I did research on drones and purchased my first camera drone. To see a camera drone in action, check out some of the cool footage that I took during my 10,000 mile, 40 day cross country trip. Videos from that trip are available in a separate playlist in the description below. By mounting the micro SD cameras into my blackout panels, I can see outside of the car even when my privacy system makes me invisible inside the car. The cameras came with little wire connectors, so I purchased a set of the same type of connectors to allow me to wire the system together. Using the connectors allowed me to make each camera removable in case one stops working and needs to be replaced. I will show you how I mounted and wired the cameras in the next video. With a camera in one of the car's rear panels, and in panels on each side of the car, I then ran wire from the cameras to a location near my sleeping area. Since my refrigerator is right next to where I sleep, I decided to mount the control system on the side of the cooler. The control system is made up of a USB hub, which has on and off buttons so I can control each camera, depending on which view of the outside that I want to see. To wire the cameras to the USB hub, I purchased USB adapters. The USB adapters may seem complicated, but they actually have a simple design that designates one of the metal pins for power and one for ground. There are also a lot of other pins for different uses, but I only needed the adapters to provide power for the cameras. So, as you will see in the next video, I simply connected the wires from the cameras to the power and ground pins on the adapters. With the adapters attached to the wires running from the cameras, I could now plug the cameras into the USB hub. I then plugged the hub into my Jackery power station to provide the power needed. Next, I needed a monitor. I found a wireless monitor on Amazon, and it came with a USB charging cord. That meant that I could plug the monitor into the same USB hub as the cameras. Since the monitor is wireless and comes with an internal rechargeable battery, I can also use it during the day to remotely monitor my car while I am working in a coffee shop or at the WeWork office. The monitor also comes with a micro SD memory card slot and a recording option. That means that I can record video from the cameras if I ever need to. 
To be honest, I don't use the monitor to remotely monitor my car during the day since my car is usually in a safe parking lot and visible through a nearby window. However, it is nice to know that both the remote viewing and recording options are available. Well, that is an overview of the camera system that I built for my car. If anything seemed overly complicated or confusing, don't worry. I will cover the individual components in more detail and show you how I built everything in the next video. In the meantime, please feel free to post any questions or comments in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to click the subscription button in the lower right hand corner of the screen and check out the playlists which are linked in the description below. And thank you for taking the time to watch this video.